Hello everyone, this is Sherwin here from TechOS and today I'm going to be taking a look at the emergency SOS feature in iOS 11. Now if you experienced any of the iOS 10 betas you may remember that this actually was briefly announced in one of the iOS 10 betas and then it was removed and only made available in the Indian market where it was a requirement. Uh, but in iOS 11 it's been brought back for everyone so now it's uh, available to use and I'm just going to go over how it works. So it's the same as how it worked before but I didn't actually get to do a video on it because uh, it came and went so quickly um, but I'm going to go through it today so as you can see it is an iPhone 5s so it may be a bit glitchy at times but if you go into settings and then if you scroll down uh, where you usually have your general and Siri and everything all those settings you'll see there's a new one here emergency SOS if I tap on that uh, and here are the options for emergency SOS so emergency SOS is essentially allows you to quickly access the emergency services if you're in a panic situation so the, the scene of an accident or something and you need to be able to quickly call the emergency services you can do so using this method without having to go into the phone and manually dial the appropriate number for wherever you are so in this in the UK here it's 999 You've got emergency contacts here now. I've blurred those out because I don't obviously that it's got personal information, it's got phone numbers displayed there. Um, but you've got your emergency contacts there now. You can set these up in the health app. So if you go here to edit emergency contacts in health, you'll get the option to set up uh, various emergency contacts and uh, you can choose all sorts of things over there. Down here, you'll see we have countdown sound. Now, I'm going to explain this in a minute. So, you've got auto call at the top here. And this basically means that when you press the sleep wake button five times rapidly, it will basically automatically start calling the emergency services after a countdown. So, this is where this part comes in. So, you've got a countdown sound. So, you can choose whether this countdown is silent or whether you have a loud sort of tone, which will admit you'll hear that in a minute, it is very loud. Um, and that will emit when you initiate the feature. So if I go ahead and show you now, it works from a locked state or just whenever you're using the device at any point, so you'd have to be unlocked for it to work. So just to demonstrate it, I'm going to go to the lock screen, and it may be a bit of hit or miss because depending on how well it works, as so like I said, this is an old phone, so it may be a bit glitchy at first, but if I rapidly press it five times, As you can see, it was proceeding to call the emergency services. So obviously I have the tap stop calling, otherwise it will end up calling emergency services and if you don't have an actual legitimate reason for calling them, you get into trouble. So I'll stop calling. But you see the interface there, it's got a nice big countdown in the middle. And then if you just if I let it obviously continue, then it would get to zero and then it would call the emergency services. Uh, and I believe it will put it on speaker so you, you can uh, just talk hands free without having to have the phone up to your ear. So that is obviously a benefit. Um, you can disable that countdown sound so if you really don't want to have that, uh, depending on where you are, then maybe you might want to have that off. And the final sort of feature is the auto call option. So if I actually turn this off, you'll see that it won't automatically call. So if I go back to my uh, you know locked state and if I press it five times now, Oh, that was four. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, there we go. So now we just get a, a different uh, view. So I can obviously I've got my slides power off, which is always there. Um, you've got your medical ID. So if you want to view your health information, which you set up in the health app, uh, again I showed you how to, uh, I explained that earlier. Um, and obviously you can see your emergency contacts there with their phone numbers, which you've got that option. And then here you've got your emergency SOS. So if you uh, slide this, then it will go ahead and call the emergency services. Uh, like that so you do have a sort of m manual option if you want more control over what you're doing rather than just having it automatically start calling when you uh, press the sleep wake button f five times and also that does give you the option of quickly accessing your medical ID which is something that you can only otherwise do from the lock screen or in the health app so it's nice to have that option but anyway that's it for this video if you've got any questions or comments on anything in this video or if you just want any other general tech support with your Apple devices, do let me know by leaving a comment in the comment section of this video. Also, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And now you can subscribe by hitting the logo in the middle of the screen and also do consider watching the videos either side of that logo. Thank you very much for watching. Look out for more iOS 11 and macOS High Sierra videos and I'll see you in my next video.